welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here on the best EUC ever made while the power lasts. The Pagode Master. This is my favorite EUC of all time. It's really hard to go back and ride my EX. And the Tesla is not like hard to go back and ride because when I go to ride my Tesla, I'm not looking for power. I'm looking for like a nimble, fun commuter or like to go get groceries. So it's not, doesn't feel like too much of a step down, like going from my Pagode Master to the EX feels like a huge step down. And the Bigode Master is known for its torque. It has a 3,500 watt motor. So it's no joke in terms of power. And I've been able to climb pretty much any hill with my EX and the Master is way better. It's really hard to go back and ride my EX. The only reason I do still ride the EX is because I like the speakers and it's a great wheel. It's never given me any issues. I absolutely love the EX. It's going to be my backup wheel until I get something, maybe in another Pagode Master. <laughs> I don't know if I'd rather get another Pagode Master or a Kingsong S22 because the Master does everything I want it to except jumps. I don't really want to do jumps though. If I did, I think I'd definitely lean towards the S22. I heard somebody blew their Bagode Master board doing jumps at full at full voltage. So if you are a jumpy type of person or a stunt type of person, stay away from water so you're not dropping an S22 in some water. And stay away from doing jumps at high voltage, all right? <laughs> Lessons learned. Do not jump at high voltage. I didn't know that. I don't think many people do, knew that. But if you jump at whole high voltage on a powerful wheel like the Bagode Master, it may blow the board. Or so I've heard. Anyways, this is the best EUC ever made. Alien Rides is going to be carrying this wheel with the two-year warranty. And they also have some options. Lots of options. The fast charger, which is super spendy. I, I, I totally recommend it. That's my biggest issue with the Master. Mine's charging up right now. And it takes a while to charge with a stock charger. So you either need to get another stock charger or to shell out enough money to get the fast charger. They also have a street tire option. So if you want to pay extra to get that street tire put on before you get it, I would recommend doing let, letting Alien Rides do your uh, tire swap for you. I did a tire swap. I put the Shinko 241 on this EUC, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal off-road tire and a above, way better than the CST uh, for street. And I actually really, I'm really enjoying this on the street. I'm not sure that I could race on this tire unless I maybe put like two, three thousand miles on it and wear that tread down. Then maybe I could race it on the street, but I still think the Con Scoot or the Pilot 2 would be better for street racing. So if Apple Valley comes up, I think I'll definitely put on a street tire. Although I'm not sure how this will do in a race if it's windy. That's my biggest concern with this wheel is the wind. You're way up there. That's the first thing almost everybody says when they get on this wheel is that you're way up there and you are. You're super high up there on this wheel, which makes crashing a lot harder and also makes it the wind. Just the wind will hit you in ways that you're not used to. So if you're a bigger, taller person, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to be taken in the wind. But you can also sit on this wheel, which helps a little bit. But still, the wheel itself is so big that the wind will hit it. And riding in the Northwest, it was super windy. It makes Vegas wind look like nothing. <laughs> the Northwest wind is crazy. So it's something to take into account when riding this wheel. In terms of the braking, the braking is great if you have the technique to get it. I've actually accidentally ran a few stop signs because like a wind gust would come or something like that. If I was stopping on another UC, I'd have no problem. But because this demands so much muscle and so much um, power, to break with the, the Clark pads that I have, I'm going to get some better braking pads. I think that will make braking better. But with the Clark pads, I'm still not getting the braking I need easily. Like I need braking easily because that wind gust comes and you're trying to stop at a stop sign and you blow right through. It could be dangerous. Luckily, I was fine. Definitely something to consider when you're riding this wheel. It has so much power that you could easily get hurt because... Man, I've been so close to cutting out a few times because the sag comes quick on this model. I'm still trying to identify like all the different speeds. I wish there was a chart or something like that. Like this is your weight and this is how much battery percentage you, you have. You should not go past this speed. I would say as of right now, don't go past 45 if you're like below 60%. I, I, I'm not even hearing the beeps on this wheel because 
I don't know why I'm not hearing the beeps, probably because I'm going too fast, or the motor, the sound of the motor is so pure and powerful that I think it might even cover up the weeps, uh, beeps. I may need some headphones. Use my iPod Pros. Uh, what are those called, iPod Pros? Yeah, the, the ear things you put in your ears so you can hear your beeps better connected to EUC World. Definitely recommend keeping an eye on your battery at all times on this wheel because it sags hard, all that superpower the superpower of this wheel quickly drains away and you're left with a uh, still a great wheel still powerful but like you can tell a difference once it starts sagging guys if you want a long range wheel that can go high speed i feel like there's only one wheel that's like the king and that's the monster pro the monster pro is king of long range high speed stability the monster pro is a great wheel i think it's one of the best wheels out there i almost wish i had one because i'm more of a street rider and I'm burning up this Pagode Master battery way faster than I thought I would. And without a fast charger, I'm kind of left without a wheel. Like, I'll ride my Pagode Master. And then when I was traveling, I only had the Pagode Master and Tesla. And then I'd switch to the Tesla and kind of, like, cruise around on the Tesla for a bit. Um, I don't want to put all my wheels in my car, you know, just in case it gets stolen. So I didn't bring the EX. But uh, maybe I'll do that in the future so I can switch to the EX. But, man, it's so hard to ride the EX after riding the Master. Guys, this is the best wheel ever made. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. This is more of a hype video. I have lots of content coming up from my Seattle rides. Uh, I hope you hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're in Vegas or where you're at. If you are located like close to Vegas or anywhere, really. I'm looking to travel. If you know any scenic spots where we can get some cool drone shots like this, feel free to let me know. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone. Ooh.